What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video we're going to be playing P.E.K.K.A. So I realized it's been a really long time since I last made a video on P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Fam, which is pretty crazy to me because it's actually somewhat decent in this current meta, especially this variation that has the lightning in it, which is very good at countering all the Archer Queen. The P.E.K.K.A. is also going to be very good against Mega Knight, which there's a lot of right now. P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Fam obviously has a pretty good matchup against pretty much all Mega Knight decks. You get the E-Wiz, which is a really solid reset to the Inferno Drag, and then the Snowball, ever since it got that pushback buff, has been a pretty solid small spell. And then Barbell's kind of in the deck just to apply a little bit of pressure on offense and give you some good value on defense. And then the Ram Rider, of course, you can use on defense too against things like Hog Riders and the Balloon and gives you a very nice counter push. So before we head in the first game, as always, if you guys would like to support me, would really appreciate that. You can use my credit code BOSS in any Supercell game. And yeah, with that being said, we're currently at 71, 89 trophies right now, and we're top 274th in the world. So let's head into the first game and try to push up even more. Okay guys, here we go. In our first match here against N, and this guy I'm pretty sure uses Golem Clone. I've played against him a few times before, and he has a very, you know, short, simple name, so it's quite easy to remember. And there you go, Golem in the back, first play of the game. So, yeah, probably gonna be Golem Clone. Luckily, we do have Paka and we have Baby Dragon, two things that are going to, you know, help us a little bit here, but I will say in this sort of matchup, your Lightning isn't gonna get as much value as you would like, unless they, you know, clump everything together, but he is laughing, so that is definitely a good sign for us. Um, to be fair, though, when you're going Golem Night Witch first play of the game, uh, you're definitely taking a pretty big risk, so I can't exactly say that that was a very smart play from uh, Mr. N here, but we can go Bandit here, and we have Skarmy, or Snowball ready for the Skarmy, which we know um, that he's obviously going to drop. And this should be a nice little, I think, yeah, a ton of damage, actually. I was just going to say, like, a nice little bit of damage. And we end up getting, yeah, a ton. Um, and this guy is laughing his head off. Clearly not very happy with how um, the beginning of this game has gone. And he is continuing to just just laugh. That's I guess that's all he he really can do at, at this point. Um, we're up Elixir, so that's the only reason I cycled my... E was in the back. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. I would have probably waited for him. But at this point, you know, we're kind of uh, putting the pressure on, and Pekka does a really good job of pressuring in single elixir. We can bandit here because he doesn't have his Skarmy in cycle, so he's likely going to have to either ignore the bandit or just, and yeah, there you go. He does ignore the bandit. So it's also going to help deal some damage to the golem, which is, you know, obviously great as well. Um, I just hope we can defend this golem push here. This is where things get a little scary. Um, obviously in, yeah, double elixir, we need to be cautious here. Um, okay, nice, the P.E.K.K.A. ended up retargeting, that was really clutch. Okay, so we do defend that push, and the laughter comes back from our opponent here. Um, he is having a lovely time, as you can tell, uh, so I think defensive Ram Rider coming in, I don't know... I guess maybe he's, yep, yeah, pressuring the opposite lane. That's interesting. I didn't expect him to do that. Um, hopefully we're ready to defend his push, though. I can Lightning, depending on if... Okay, yeah, he is going to give us some solid Lightning value. We could also go for Snowball here. And then we just need to get a E-Wiz down if we can. Bandit, oh boy, this is close, and there we go, we are able to get the win, and you know what, we'll laugh too, why not, Golem Clone, Toxic deck, and uh, you know, he's having a good time, so I guess we're having a good time too, plus 38, um, and uh, yeah, let's end the next game, that was a uh, pretty funny first match, Golem Night Witch first play, um, luckily we were able to defend, and uh, we were able to barely hold our towers, that got a little intense there though at the end. Alright, so we found our next game here against... Noah, so I guess we could just start with a bar barrel. Um, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna do anything. I guess not. So we'll just bar barrel. Why not? And it's gonna go mother witch. Okay, so maybe RG. There's not a lot of decks right now that have mother witch in it, but RG or Pekka is really the the main main options. I would say, unless it's something off meta. I guess we'll find out. So. I don't know if I want to play anything in front of this E-Wiz. Uh, okay, I'm going to P.E.K.K.A. now because he just spent a lot of Elixir. That Lightning 
wouldn't say it's really aggressive, but when he's spending six elixir, he's only going to have four after that. So I'm going to apply a lot of pressure right now myself. We could obviously snowball to reset the inferno drag, and I feel like we're going to be able to get a pretty, yeah, solid amount of damage right now. Um, sadly, the inferno drag isn't dead, so it will take out the ram rider. Um, if that inferno drag wasn't there, we likely would have taken almost this whole tower, which would have been incredible. Um, but still a really good start, and this is likely Electro Giant based off of what he's played so far, which is a pretty good matchup for, um, for P.E.K.K.A., obviously. So, can't really complain there. This E-Giant is going to get some damage, though, because sadly I didn't have my P.E.K.K.A. in rotation. But we're still going to uh, maintain a very small lead, and now that we know what he's using, we can just play patient, you know, not play the P.E.K.K.A. until he uses that Electro Giant, so then you know, we, we always save it for it. Um, I don't know if he needed to go for that Mother Witch. That felt like a little bit of, I don't know, again, just kind of like an overcommitment, kind of like that Lightning was. I just don't think that that was a very good play, I guess you could say. But I, I'm, I'm gonna, well, I guess I'm kind of gonna do what he did, go for kind of aggressive Lightning. But we're in double Elixir now, so I feel like it's more... It's more reasonable to do something like that, but um, I guess we'll just band it now. We're gonna again save the Pekka until he goes in for the Electro Giant. I doubt he's going to do it now though, or anytime soon, because he's gonna, if he can, try to get me to, you know, play my Pekka and use it on something else, which I'm going to avoid doing if all possible. Go defensive Ram Rider here, I guess. Um, maybe get a nice lightning. We're gonna be able to hit the, uh, oh wow, the Mother Witch didn't get hit, so that actually wasn't the best lightning, I guess you could say. He did let that connect, though. Um, hopefully we are able to defend this, because this is looking a little scary. We're just gonna have to snowball the Mother Witch. Okay, we have to get a Ram Rider to connect, otherwise we're actually in quite a lot of trouble. Ten HP. I'm not gonna lie, I probably didn't deserve that win because I had a hard counter, he nearly won, and I screwed up, but hey. A win's a win, and I'll take it. <laughs> okay, so in our next match here against Poison, again, have no clue how I almost lost to Electro Giant. Really easy matchup, but a um, couple bad plays. Um, was too aggressive. I let him build a massive counter push, and I the P.E.K.K.A. was getting distracted by the Mother Witch spawning those pigs, and yeah, it was just not, not optimal. But um, yeah, at least we didn't throw. We did win the matchup we were supposed to, which is very good for this deck. Um, and alright, this guy's not doing anything. Just gonna cycle a log. That doesn't tell me a lot. Log could be practically anything. I mean, really the only things you could li eliminate when you see a log is really just, like, Lava Hound. I mean, it's probably not gonna be that, or Graveyard, but that's kind of about it. Um, in reality, like, it could be a lot of different things. So, we're just gonna go Pekka, um, into the Dark Prince. It's a little risky, but it is a 7 for 4 trade, and we get a ton of counter push, so... I think it's not a bad play. Um, I will lightning this because even though, you know, it's a 6 for 5 trade, he now has to spend a lot more to take out this P.E.K.K.A. He's got Fisherman, so this is probably going to be RG, which is a matchup that I would say can go either way. Um, you know, obviously the P.E.K.K.A. can do somewhat decent against it, but at the same time, I feel like... It's pretty easy for the RG player to either outcycle the Pekka or just simply use their fisherman and pull the Pekka away. So that's kind of the, the that's kind of the problem or how you could lose, I guess you could say. I'm um, I'm gonna try to E-Wiz this. Um he timed it though pretty well, so we're in quite a lot of trouble. Um yeah, I don't know. This is uh it's not good. We, we took a lot of damage from that, and I don't know how he could have prevented it. 
Um, so we're gonna have to try to find a way to break through and come back, but I, f I feel like at this point in the game, it's going to be pretty difficult to do, because if he's good, he should be able to play defense pretty well, but I guess we'll see what happens. He won't be able to play into us though, which is really good, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a really good lightning value or something um, on top of the, well, everything we just hit, which was incredible. So that's actually how you can come back, getting value like that. Yeah, there you go. That That's just, now we're definitely still in this. And he can't really RG because I have all the defensive tools I need. We could go high Paka here to tank for the baby dragon. And let's see how he chooses to defend this. So fisherman all the way in the left, which means he won't be able to go for an RG push now. And yep, this is looking like we're coming back really, really nicely. Um, I'm just going to lightning. I know we're not hitting the tower, but now he'll have to play something for the Ewiz. And yeah, this is looking, wow, like we're making a pretty nice comeback compared to the start of the game. We can also go high Ewiz here, and yeah, I think this is actually GG. I, I feel like we're, we're gonna win now because he just wasted, well, I wouldn't say he wasted six elixir. Well, yeah, I guess I would say he wasted it because then he had nothing to defend. So pretty nice comeback. We had a rough start and we were able to bounce back. I mean, obviously we, I think have a slightly slower cycle than he does. I mean, this deck is, I don't know. I mean, 4.1, fairly expensive. RG probably 3.8 something along those lines, but yeah, either way, nice win, uh, definitely gonna have a higher chance of beating RG with Pekka Bridge Bam as opposed to Mega Knight Bridge Bam, um, just because you have that extra DPS. Oh yeah, so we found our next match here against Ali, and um, we don't really have anything that we want to cycle, unfortunately, because cycling an Ewiz is quite risky, same with the Baby Dragon, they could be important cards to defend, but um, I'll wait a little bit for him. He did just cycle a zap. Um, okay, I'll just go... He was on top of that. I guess that's fine. So zap and... Heal Spirit, Mega Minion. So maybe this is this is Sparky. It could be that giant Sparky deck that's possible. It's it kind of, you know, commonly referred to the Agony King deck. The only reason why I think it's that is because I don't know any other deck that has Heal Spirit and zap in it. I'll tell you what, because he did just... Well, actually, that makes things easier. I was just about to say, because he cycled his Mega Minion, Baby Dragon probably would be fine, because Mega Minion does very good against the Baby Dragon. I'll just go Bandit here, just to dash into the Ewiz, and support the Baby Dragon a little bit, so it doesn't entirely die to the Ewiz. He's gonna go e -barbs. I think we could go Ram Rider here, just to distract, and I don't think we need to do anything else. Okay, he is going to Sparky. Um, you know, I think I should have played a lightning on that. I regret not playing a lightning on it, because if I did play a lightning on it, I'm pretty sure that... Let's wait here, though, and see what he does. Okay, wow, he's not going to do anything. So actually, we're fine. He didn't support that at all. That's just easy. Uh, okay, so rage. So he's not using the tornado like I thought he was. The Agony King deck, because... Usually, Sparky Rage doesn't use Mega Minion. Well, I mean, it could, but usually... Well, I don't see it that often with Heal Spirit. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I guess everyone uses different variations. I don't know. Um, anyway, I guess we could go Ram Rider in the opposite lane of the Sparky. We don't really want to play it same lane. That doesn't really... I don't know. I, I just don't think it's a good play. Um... So he's going to defend with a Mega Minion, okay. So I guess we could go Pekka here, and then kind of from there see what he wants to do. Lightning going to come in and get some pretty solid value, I'd say. That If the Sparky doesn't shoot the Bandit, that would be... Oh, of course it does. Yeah, that sucks, because having that Bandit alive would have been... Very nice, I feel like. I think we're going to do an opposite lane push. Uh, maybe even Pekka, because this would kind of force him to go Goblin Giant high up. Oh, wow, he actually played it. Um, This could be a problem for him, because now he just has... 
Um, let's see. This is going to be very interesting. Okay, we're able to defend. Wow, this is a very close game. We could probably go... I, I think this might be GG. Because if I just go Ram Rider, and then just Lightning, and then as long as the... Let's go! Nice! Are able to get the win. Okay, that was risky, because if that didn't take the tower, I might have very well lost the game. But I knew when he cycled that spark in the back, he wasn't going to have the elixir he needed to defend it. Um, and yeah, we, we were able to get it. That was risky, but um, it ended up paying off, so I'm glad it worked. Uh, plus 23, uh, let's head into the uh, the next match. Alright guys, so this might be our final game here. I guess we'll see how long the uh, the match goes. If it's really quick, maybe I'll play one more. I guess we'll see. So he's going to go Barbaro. We can go Bandit here. And um, maybe he's using... Yeah, it looks like it is going to be Graveyard because most likely when you see Barbaro Valkyrie in the same deck, usually it is Graveyard. Although, he does have the Queen, so he must be using Queen instead of the Ice Wizard. So we're going to go Pekka, try to play it before he activates the ability. Okay, he does get it off just in the nick of time. A uh, good reaction time on his end because a lot of people, when you play Pekka high up like that, before the queen crosses the bridge, they're not expecting you to drop the P.E.K.K.A. early, so they end up playing the activation late, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, this is certainly a little bit of a problem. We're going to take a ton of damage and get very minimal counter push. Should be very easy for him to defend. He probably can just... Um, well, actually, we might get the bandit to the... Oh, nice. That, I mean, that's actually some really good damage, but still a good lead for him. So, you know, not the best start either way. Uh, but yeah, let's just wait a couple seconds. I, I don't really want to cycle, you know, anything for no reason. If we wait, it's better because now, um, okay, let's, even though the it didn't work before, I'm doing it again just because uh, I, I need to, you know, get something to tank for the baby dragon I, I mean if i don't the queen is just gonna get too too much then again it, it did get too much value anyway it's like either way sometimes it's just you know you can't win when you're against the archer queen in terms of getting value against her she is just goodness gracious ridiculously strong sometimes and i don't think playing a lightning on a queen is is the and that was a bad freeze that that freeze might allow us to make a comeback because that was in my opinion, just a complete waste of elixir. He, he barely got any damage from it, so I just do not think that that was the play. That bar barrel was good, though, I guess, and ended up getting a shot in the delivery. Wow, that's actually kind of annoying. So we're going to try to get a good value lightning here. Hopefully he... Um, oh, nice. So we actually are able to hit both the Valkyrie and the Queen. That's exactly what I wanted. Ramrider going to come in after the delivery comes down. Hopefully we can end up getting it through. We probably have a good chance of it, because it doesn't seem like he has really any good counter to the Ram Rider. So, yeah, and Baby Splash is there, so... It's actually looking pretty good at this point for us. Likely he might go for, like, a High Queen here, try to... Um, space it out. Um, unfortunately for him, though, we're still going to be able to hit it. And the Skelly Drags. Oh, if that bandit... Oh, I was going to say, if that if that ended up dashing on the tower, it would have been game right there. He was going to send in a Ram Rider, but he had a freeze, so he would have just froze, and then the Valkyrie would have been able to, you know, just hit the Ram Rider while it was frozen, so that wouldn't have been the best play in that situation. Good defensive Ram Rider here. And I guess Baby... Oh, no, the, the Skelly Dragons are splashing... Mm, good game. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. Mm, yeah, that, that defense was not the best at the end. Uh, I don't know what happened, but yeah, I, I felt like I should have been able to win that one, especially based off of like, oh wow, he had a mortar. That's very interesting. 
Do you guys ever have those games where you're wondering why the heck they didn't use a card when it would have helped them? I can't think of any reason why he wouldn't have used the Mortar. That's very odd. Because, hear me out. The Mortar is a very good counter to the Ram Rider. You might not realize it, but when you think about it, it's a 4 elixir card that can, yeah, I mean, fully stop the Ram Rider when you play it uh, in the middle. Whereas everything else he had, you know, like, and it doesn't die to a lightning, right? Uh, it has a little bit of health left. Whereas everything else he had, like the Queen, Skeleton Dragons especially, they're weak and they don't fully stop a Ram Rider on their own. And like the Queen, I, I, I can lightning and Valkyrie doesn't, of course. So that's very surprising that he didn't, um, that he didn't use it. I mean, I'm not thinking about it too much or don't really care that much. I mean, we lost anyway, but that's very odd. I feel like he would have... Uh, maybe been able to prevent a lot of that damage he took from the Ram Rider. But uh, either way, I hope you guys did end up enjoying the video. Um, there were, you know, a couple losses earlier I didn't end up showing because some of them weren't even close and were to j just difficult uh, matchups or just kind of like annoying decks. Um, but yeah, make sure to like it if you guys did end up enjoying it. Subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already. And thanks again until next time, guys.